There are so many ways we, we try to change ourselves into what we think will make people see us, appreciate us, value us. Play, ways in which we make choices so that we will look as though we have some power in the world. We want a position that makes us feel that other people will see that we really know what we're doing. Or we want to be seen as having studied or been intelligent or having had a life well spent. Well, I want to free you all from the reality of what you have done is defining you for where you're going. Because where you're going is much greater than where you've been, if you so choose. If you recognize the power of the, the being you are that incarnated to use all this, what the rest of your life can be about is amazing. Let us not be shamed by the way the world thinks we should be, because as an angel, as a daughter or son of God, it is essential that this me show up. Otherwise, we are buying into a program that says we are not valuable, and what we do doesn't matter. What we do matters, and it matters from where we live that we deliver the goods. It is about, this is me, and I will succeed. About the pre premise of paying attention to the right star, making sure you're not following the wrong star because someone shot shameful bullets at you and you thought it would just be easier to go into a place where it would be avoiding things as opposed to bringing things. I've made decisions to avoid discomfort and then had to find my way back. There is discomfort in bringing the truth, bringing your true identity into the world. This is me. Feel the glory? Yeah. This is a powerful statement. This is me. I take full responsibility to be me. And I am glorious. And I will not let the bullets of Things that are said to me break me down. Believe me, I'm not saying the level of your suffering makes you greater. But if you have suffered and are present, be glorious. This is me, and I am glorious. Are you glorious? I think, I think so. as a son or daughter of God, as an angel incarnate in physical form. That is your true identity. As everyone who preceded me said, this capacity is perfectly designed for the revelation of that. And when you say, this is me, that's who's present. Not just this flesh, this glorious flesh, A friend of mine once said, if you're still alive, there's hope. There's hope that everything that you do can be the revelation of the wonder of heaven because that's who you are, a heavenly being in physical form, a gorgeous reflection of the design. And because we are that, we get to do this together in the ecstasy of the communion of being to being. Sometimes we have to deal with the pain of when it's not working. But when it is working, when it is working, heaven on earth.